Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to more Legendary Encounters in Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Today, what I have for you is HMS Renown, dating back to 1917, against the much more modern, but more lightly armored, Scharnhorst. This is going to be an interesting battle. Now, I can already see the comment section going crazy with, Hey, Scharnhorst is not a battlecruiser, it's a battleship. Um, not in this game. In this game, it is treated as a battle cruiser. Otherwise, you're going to be facing issues with hulls, which are not suitable for the ship. All right, let me show you around. Um, the Renown is displacing 29,000 tons of her 32,740. So she can still displace quite a bit more. I think this is the first ship that actually uses direct to drive steam turbines. It does not use the geared steam turbines, which means that you get a bit more acceleration as opposed to the standard turbines, and you get some various other bonuses. You get more horsepower per ton, for example. But that is not what Renown had. She had standard steam turbines. Aside from that, we have an anti-torpedo 1 protection, uh, a decent barbette, Krupp 2 armor. She is dating back to the 1915s and per 4, so it's not going to be as modern as you might like. Citadel 3, anti-flood, uh, standard shells as far as I could tell. I'm not exactly sure, so if you are in a position to correct me, then by all means. Um, when it comes to her secondaries, I'm not exactly happy with these. because She's supposed to have more of these triple 4-inch guns. And they're supposed to sit on the main tower, they're supposed to sit on the secondary tower, but I cannot quite make that work. In this encounter, it's not that important, because the 4-inch guns basically won't do anything. Not to a ship like the Scharnhorst. Now, the ship is, um, for her era, pretty poorly protected. She has a 6-inch main belt, 4-inch fore and aft belt, 2.5 deck, 2-inch uh, aft deck, a little bit of conning tower armor, and 9 inches of turret armor. That is not good. It's not good. It's going to probably cause all sorts of issues with her survivability. She does not get access to radar. She's too early for that. And her stereoscopic rangefinder 3 might provide quite a bit of accuracy, depending on the range. The enemy is the Scharnhorst. Now, interestingly, the Scharnhorst could displace 38,100 tons, but I don't need anywhere near that. I have 10,000 tons free. But... What I do not have is most of her secondary armament. You see, on this battlecruiser hull, this is the battle, modern battlecruiser hull, the large cruiser didn't quite seem to fit. Now, the modern battlecruiser hull has a couple of these spaces for 6-inch guns, but she's supposed to have more. She's also supposed to have more um, secondaries in the form of 4-inch guns here, but since these towers don't accommodate that, I had to go with 3-inchers. So, sadly, her secondary armament is nowhere near as good as it should be. Her main armament is 9 11-inch guns. So, far, far smaller than the 15-inch guns that the Renown has. It's going to be an interesting fight. Light 11-inch shells versus standard 15-inch shells. And if the Bismarck um, versus... What was it? Um, North Carolina fight is anything to go by... It's not necessarily a bad choice to go with smaller, lighter guns. Her protection is far superior to that of Renown. 14.2 inch side armor on the turrets, uh, 7.9 inch on the top, a belt that is very well protected by 13.8 inches of main belt armor, 6 fore and aft. The deck is okay, and we get quite a bit on the conning tower. And she gets access to Group 3 as well as a turtleback style armor. Her speed is better than Renown at 31 knots. And, well, as mentioned, this displacement is nice, but I just have a ton spare. And I really don't know what to do with it. You can still upgrade bulkheads to maximum, but even then you're not really making a dent in that displacement. So this is just the ships as we are going to roll them out with. We're going to see how they're going to do. All right, let's go. All right, Renown versus Scharnhorst. Starting range, 15,000 meters. One little surprise that Renown has is torpedo launchers. These are supposed to sit behind the A barbette, so basically behind the A turret, but you couldn't get them that far forward. And Renown was already struggling with displacement issues. She already has a pretty hefty four weight offset. 
So I couldn't exactly make that thing work. That's why you can find them more along the lines of the superstructure. These are supposed to be 21 inch, but considering the era of the Renown, I couldn't get that to work, so they are 20 inches only. But they can still pack a mean punch if an unsuspecting ship happens to be sailing broadside. Now, of course, Renown's accuracy is not going to be stellar. Not without a rangefinder. Uh, sorry, a radar rangefinder, that is. Scharnhorst seemingly already has a pretty good idea about the range. And, yep, there we go. Manages to immediately... Hit and pen Renown, causing damage to an engine and flooding, but Renown is quick to stop that. Now, the Scharnhorst at 12 kilometers, with her 11-inch guns, I think is going to make very quick work of the Renown. Yeah, there we go again. Another engine out of commission. That compartment is flooding. They're first going to have to stop the flooding, and then they might be able to fix the engine. Yeah, they got rid of the flooding, and the engine's back online. Range... 10 kilometers now. Renown opens up again. Gets penned again. Right through the four belt. This is the problem that I immediately saw happening with the Renown when I designed her. This level of armor made me go, oh no. <laughs> oh dear. Oh! <laughs> Something is wrong with our bloody ships today. <laughs> well... That was quick. <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? Yeah. Oh, man. That was extremely violent. Renown barely got any damage off. Sharon Horse, can you do that again? Because that was stunning. <laughs> Just instantly, boom, dead. Bye bye. And I don't think the Renown even hit the Sharon Horse. But hey ho, uh, this was suggested and upvoted in the comments, so here's the video doing the Renown versus Sharnhorst. Who am I to protest? Well, not bad. Ranging on the Renown seems to be okay. Keep in mind that these guns take 93 seconds to reload. It might be a bit long, but considering that she's an old battle cruiser, I didn't want to give her all sorts of fancy reloads. And miss again. I doubt we're going to get an identification on Sharnhorst before the ship either explodes or gets crippled beyond repair. The rate of fire on Sharnhorst is pretty terrifying. She can get two, sometimes almost three salvos off before the Renown returns fire. Once again, we're at 10 kilometers. Oh dear. Oh dear. Scharnhorst at 9.7 kilometers out. That just ricocheted off the side of the Scharnhorst. She can most likely pen the very fragile armor on the Renown. It's mostly luck that the Renown hasn't taken any damage yet. Because she's just not. Oh wow, she hit. Partial pen even. Range 7.7. .7. Yeah, here we go again. Flooding on the Renown. Identification on Sharnhorst complete. We have a 17% chance to pen. Okay. Um, yeah. The Renown might have bigger guns, but Sharnhorst has more armor. Sharnhorst has smaller guns, but uh, Renown has no armor. Or at least none to speak of. Because at this range, which is about 7.5 kilometers out, the Sharnhorst can pen... A 22.8 inch armor. The ship doesn't have that level of armor anywhere. So she is extremely fragile and very much at the mercy of the Scharnhorst. And she just keeps taking hit after hit after hit. Also the accuracy of this ship is 8.5%. This one's 21. Yeah, it's 23 second reload. The Scharnhorst can get 4... Salvos off when the Renown only gets one. That is pretty scary. If the Renown might go bow in, maybe she has a better shot. At surviving, that is. Not so much a better capability of doing damage. But even then, that bow 
It's four inch. And yes, it might be angled. So maybe you can get just about well, slightly less than double out of it, but it's not going to be good. Now we're about 14 minutes into the game, into the battle. Both of Scharnhorst's engines are damaged, interestingly. The damage is seemingly okay here. 271 versus 620 is not terrible. Although, losing your conning tower is potentially the beginning of the end. Because once you start to reduce your damage output, you're pretty much screwed. It seems that Sharnhorst got exceptionally unlucky with her engines. And is either unable to get them fixed or still working on it. Oh, speaking of engine damage. Renown just got penned and lost an engine as well. Chance to pen. 12%. <laughs> Dude. 36. <laughs> damage to the B tower. I'm oh, sorry, B turret. Flooding. Fire. Oh, you poor thing. You were never supposed to take on something like the Sharon Horse. You were supposed to take on your contemporaries. Sharnhorst is 20 years your junior. And has the technology and armor to match it. So while Renown hasn't exploded yet, she's definitely not winning this one. Chance to pen, 12%. Ooh, more flooding. Third, and there we go again. Uh, these ba British battle cruisers have a, a violent nature and a tendency to explode. Okay, last attempt. I'm going to take manual control of the ship, see if I can do better. I doubt it very much, but let's see. So we're going to go for the standard high explosive. Could you not? Jesus. We're going to go for the standard high explosive attack. Because at this range, I will definitely not be able to pen that ship. Slowing down to full speed. Trying to get to about, I don't know, 7 to 8 kilometer range. And hoping that I don't explode before I get there. Looks like Sharnhorst is already getting quite a bit of damage put out here. Or at least, not for lack of trying. It's only a matter of time until one of those hits. That ricochet? We hit the target? But high explosive damage was blocked? Huh. That's not how that usually works. Nothing. We need to do better here, Renown. Sharnhorst, 9 kilometers out. Is she broadside? Pretty much. Switch to armor piercing. We might have an opportunity here, if we hit. Yeah. Main belt, partial pen only. That's disappointing. I was hoping for some nice amount of damage there. Seven kilometers out. Maintain your broadside there, Sharon Horse. That'd be great. That'd be very much appreciated, because then I can get some good damage in. If you angle, I'm pretty much shit out of luck. And I miss. Come on, Renown. Now you fucked up, because now you cannot pen this ship anymore. How much can Sharnhorse do? 3%? Wow. And my turrets seem safe. Okay. Opportunities. Opportunities. Can the high explosive spamming tactic work with this ship as well? Would that actually go well? Hold on, I thought my turrets were off limits. Guess not. Sharnhorst. It's almost like she's running away. Yeah, she's running away. I'm not sure why. Because she has the guns. But under this angle, she does not have the guns. And is not able to bring more than three guns to actually fire on the Renown. Speed, 30 knots. Yeah, okay, we're going to maintain speed. We're going to have to chase this thing. 
Now for that, I'm going to maintain full speed. We're very even for structural integrity damage. 95 versus 96. It's really not that bad. I just need to actually get a hit. Because the Sharon horse is twice the accuracy that I do. And it's not going up, it's going down. And I miss again. Come on, Scharnhorst. Stay here, please. He seems to be ever so slightly turning. Now, those six inch guns of the Scharnhorst, potentially the five inch, she's not supposed to have five inch, by the way, but that was the only thing that would actually fit. Those are supposed to be single six inch. I think that these are capable of starting fires. Yep. The 5 inches are starting fires. This one also started a fire. And the 6 inch has done 59 damage flat, but not actually started a fire. So that means that those secondaries against something as poorly armored as the Renown actually have a chance. Yeah, there's another fire. Those fires are starting to add up. Come on, get some damage in. 60 damage, not bad. Secondary tower took a hit on Sharnhorst. Range, 6.6. .6. Chance to pen me, 3.6. If they get lucky, it's going to go right through my 4 belt. And potentially cause flooding. Another 48. Structural integrity is 88 for me, 92 for Sharnhorst. This is actually going way better than I'd expected. Way better. How much ammo does Sharnhorst carry? 738. Okay. So she's not going to run out of shells anytime soon. That's not a viable tactic. Hoping that she runs out of shells and then finishing her off. 6.6 .6 and still 16% accuracy only. Courtesy of my poor rangefinder, Stereo 3. Missed. Sharnhorst still at a shitty angle for her A and B turret. These secondaries are getting quite annoying. 112 damage by the 6 inch secondary. That's almost as much damage as the main gun has done. The main armament of 11 inches. I thought that the 6 inch guns would really not that be that important for this battle, but I'm wrong. They could prove to be quite quite useful good lord could you actually start hitting something for a change speed 30 knots okay we're gonna go to flank we're gonna try and keep up with this thing because i cannot have him escape i need to stay fairly close to it there you go there's the bow belt that's the pen that i was expecting causing flooding and slowing me down so far, I'm still speeding up, but since I'm no longer at cruise speed, I'm also losing accuracy. And my damage and stability is not very helpful either. So we need to do something. We need to do some damage. There you go. Engine out on Scharnhorst. That's helpful. Not helpful is that I'm flooding again. That bow compartment, again. 72% structural on me, 88 on Scharnhorst. At least I haven't blown up yet. Put emphasis on yet, because that can still happen. Destroyed my funnel. Sure, why don't you? Scharnhorst. Seemingly still not capable of fixing their engine or in the process of doing so at 29.5 knots, but slowing slightly. More flooding. That compartment is starting to take too much damage. 2% chance to pen. With that much flooding, it could have fooled me. Go on. Fire. That was done by a secondary then? Yeah. The 4-inch has had a couple, of has had a couple of fires on the ship. Dealing a whole 15 points of damage. 16 now. Look at that. Range is now 6.1. Chance to pen is still terrible. If only the Charners would just change course, just turn around. I think she could very easily come alongside the Renown and kill it. 
But she's just not doing it. 30 more damage. No, I'm not going to waste, uh, waste salvos on AP. Not with 90 second reload. It just takes way too long. Range is 6.1. I need to get like here if I want to start penning that ship. Oh, there goes my main conning tower. Lovely. Torpedo range? 7.3, so that's never going to catch up to the Scharnhorst. Not unless I give an awful lot of broadside. That bow compartment's fully flooded. And at my flank speed, I very much doubt that I'll be able to <laughs> drain that compartment. Okay, let's take a bit of risk. I'm going to try and get the X turret also to fire. This is probably very much to Sharn Horse liking. Yeah, it is. Range 6.4 still. Full salvo, and it all misses. <laughs> oh, come on, Renown. Do better. Sharon Horse 26.8. Holding. I am also doing something in that range. So we're sticking to the 6.4 kilometer range. Go on, Renown. Sharnhurst has still 550 shells left. Oh! Really? 6% chance to pen me. I'm not angled enough. There. It's dropping. Turn the bows to port. And we're back to 4% range. Good. I'm con getting concerned about all these main turrets getting damaged. If they keep that up, there's a fairly high likelihood that at some point I'll lose one of my turrets. And that could prove disastrous. Destroy the secondary gun. Range 6-2. We're slowly, slowly, slowly catching up. But relying upon my magical torpedo solution is not going to work. Sharon Horse doesn't have sonar, and her turning circle isn't great, but that torpedo blister... Probably going to keep her safe, the anti-torp one. More damage to my main gun. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Six kilometers out. Chance to pen, 2%. So naturally, they're going to go right through the bows or damage my superstructure. Because they can definitely damage the bows and the superstructure and even the B barbette. 86% structural. 60. 24 knots. 24 knots. We're pretty evenly matched on speed. Come on, Renown. Come on, come on, come on. Yep, there you go. 56 damage. Excellent. Let's fire a couple of AP salvo to see if I can do some damage to her stern. Maybe flood that compartment and thereby slow her down more. She is still slowing. 23.8. Nope. Ricochet chance high. Penetration chance very low. <laughs> Armor. 3 inch to 27.9 inch. That's because of the angling. Because the ship doesn't actually have that. No, actually she kind of does. Because that 13.8 inch main belt plus 102% means that that is that really high armor value. And that armor value is angled. That's not something these guns can go through. Not even 5,000 meter range. At two and a half, we're starting to get there. That was cross-eyed. 5.7. Last couple of minutes, nobody has been really able to damage the other. Renown has missed everything. And Sharonhorst probably mostly ricocheted. There. Ooh, a second engine out on Scharnhorst. At the expense of my main tower getting destroyed. 23.5. Coasting, 
I'm still doing 24. Range 5-5. Five, five. More damage to my main guns. Come on. This ship is not looking pretty. Range 5-5. Five, five. Fire and some damage. I think those engines are just not coming back. 22.4 knots. She's slowing down. 22.3. 22.2. More hits and more damage. Albeit very, very limited. 21.9. We're closing. Albeit slowly. What's your chance to pen? 3%. Okay. My poor funnels. I'm oh, sorry, funnels? Yeah, I have two. One's damaged, one's destroyed. Missed? Okay. Oh, hello, Sharnhorse. What are you doing now? Are you sure about that? Sharnhorst, some reason or another, decided to stay and fight. Going full starboard turn and opening up her broadside. If given an opportunity, I could do some pretty hefty damage here. But I have to take that opportunity right now and the guns are still loading. 17% chance, dropping, 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 dropping. Nothing. Everything missed. Range 3-6. And the bow... Sorry, the belt is once again out of question. Chance to hit, 100% for Sharnhorst. Okay, chance to pen, 3%. But she only needs a few hits. Chance to hit 50%. Chance to pen 11. Wow. 38 damage. Outstanding. Fire control damaged. Thirteen percent going up. Thirteen six, thirteen eight, fourteen. What if I ram the Sharon Horst? Would that work? 15. Load the guns! We're 700 meters out. There you go. She's gonna feel that for a while. Uh, now I'm gonna have to do a hard starboard turn. And I'm very much at the mercy of Scharnhorst's guns. I'm trying to pass her on the stern to knock out, or to at least eliminate the A and B turrets. Go on. Please don't tell me that torpedo tube is not functional, because I need that torpedo tube. Chance to pen. Rapidly accelerating. Or rapidly going up. Yes. Have at it. The torpedo tube refused to launch. Oh dear. Once again, try and pass behind that ship. Do not pass in front of it. You will die. You'll die anyway. You'll just die faster. I'm going to be down to 8 knots. I need that torpedo launcher to work. I know the torp, ang torp angle is terrible. There. Torpedo away. Port launcher. Torpedo away against Sharnhorst. This could hit. Oh, could you stop exploding? Hit. Doesn't matter. Renown's dead. That's a 3-0 knockout for Sharnhorst. That's terrible. Really, really terrible. Now, I did more damage when I was manually controlling Renown. The torpedo did a nice 363 damage. But Renown just cannot tank any damage. Too fragile. Too much damage and too easily damaged and done. So, that was the battle. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. And I'll see you guys soon for the next legendary encounter.